Nevada's prisons director calls in two outside agencies to investigate the circumstances surrounding one man's death. A News Dow investigator Vanessa Murphy has been uncovering issues with the state prison system, has more now, and the latest on the mystery within prison walls. How the inmate died is a mystery for now. The Clark County Coroner's Office saying the cause and manner of death are pending. What we do know so far is several officers used batons on the inmate less than 48 hours before he died. This is a photo of 44 year old Christian Walker. The Nevada Department of Corrections tells me he was originally housed at Southern Desert Correctional Center. He had run from officers there and was then moved to High Desert State Prison considered maximum security. Officers claim he didn't comply after he arrived and that's when officers used force. Again, multiple officers with batons, so much so we've learned at least one officer was injured. That was on April 13th. We've learned Walker died two days later. Director James Zarenda just returned to head the prison system earlier this year. I interviewed him in February. He insisted the department would be more transparent. In this case, he's asked the Nevada Department of Public Safety and the Attorney General's office to investigate immediately. I think uh, transparency is a big deal to me. Might not have been with the last administration, but I think uh, the public should be part of the part of this too. As for those officers involved, the Department of Corrections says no action has been taken as far as any leave or disciplinary action because the investigations are ongoing. Walker was serving a life sentence for second degree murder. Return Strong, the advocacy group tells me they had been working with Walker to try to get him pardoned because of the circumstances surrounding the crime. This is a developing story. Numerous sources from both inside and outside the prison have been reaching out to me. We are actively trying to piece together how Walker died. Reporting in Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. And Vanessa has been in contact with Walker's mother. She says she is too distraught to speak right now, but she believes officers used excessive force against her son. Again, Vanessa is working to piece all of this together.